Hi everybody, welcome to my very first tutorial into Cinema 4D. Today we're going to learn a quick way to do this kind of crowd uh, simulation into Cinema 4D by using Cinema 4D and uh, Mixamo. So let's jump right in. As you can see, my interface is in French, uh, but I'm going to try to translate it uh, uh, in English. Uh, if you have any issue, uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And I try to answer my. Um, uh, I try to answer it. <laughs> uh, so let's grab uh, the stickman for Cinema 4D, make it very low poly, uh, make it editable. Uh, now we're going to uh, select everything and uh, connect and delete. So like this, we've got our, our mesh that we're going to import into a mix ammo. To do so, we, we have to export first in uh, OBG. So let's do this. Uh, we got a uh, Pantin OBG replace because I've already done it before. Uh, okay, so now uh, let's jump into Mixamo. Uh, Mixamo, you can create a free account and have access to uh, uh, many characters and many animations that are pre-made and that you can use uh, anywhere. So um, let's upload our character. It's our Pantin, Pantin, our stickman. In French, it's Pantin in that OBG. Okay, so we upload it to Mixamo. Okay, everything is in place. Now let's uh, rig it the Mixamo way. So it's a very simple way to rig our character. For me, the simplest. It's uh, the most simple way to do it. To do so, so the knees the grain the, 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 I don't know if it's the correct way to, to print it so for the skeleton we're going to select the no fingers because we don't have any finger on the stickman uh, on the stickman guys so the outer rigger is doing his work okay so everything looks good Let's click next. Okay, proceed with this character. Now we're going to the animation section and let's try to find the walk. There are many walking options into Mixamo. We're going to choose this one because uh, it's quite good. Um, we need to make it in place so it will be easier for us to render this after. Uh, overdrive it's it's used to um, slow down the animation so let's slow it a bit okay um, I'm good with that so I'm going to show this one and let's download it okay so we got it uh, let's save it into a folder Okay, I replaced because I already done it before. Um, okay, so let's uh, put a working FBX uh, into Cinema 4D and see what you got. All right, so here, here is what we got. First thing we can see it's that it's not looping properly. Uh, it, it happens uh, very often into Mixamo animation. So as you can see, first frame is the same as the last frame. So what we need to do is to delete, delete the last frame. So to do it so, uh, let's, uh, select the, um, let's select the rig, maybe uh, let's select it and select everything. Let's just uh, do a right click, uh, show the animation, and select the last frames and click delete. Okay, so now let's see if it loops properly. It's, it's better. Yeah, it loops really better. There's no 
no problem in this looping animation okay so what are we going to do we're going to make a new a new group with uh, with the mesh and the rig call it uh, group okay so we're going to use a cloner to uh, to multiply uh, a character so let's see what happens uh, as you can see nothing works is working properly uh, our cloner doesn't understand what, what, what we want to do so what we need to do first is to convert our mesh so um, st uh, it's uh, convert current state to object so let's click it and there we go we got our mesh there is here okay and our animation is still here okay so we have to um, transfer the animations from our rig rig to our new pantheon so to do it so uh, we need to we need to take a correction put it in a group okay and now let's right click uh, and make into property uh, character animation and cache points we're going to cache point uh, everything that happens in this group uh, on the correction tag so store state and calculate right it's good. it's okay so now everything is our catch point uh, expressions so let's duplicate it and stick it onto our pre our uh, duplicate mesh what do we got so we got our animation very good so uh, we're going to make uh, something maybe 240 to have a 10 second animation long so first thing that we can see you know is that it's not uh, looping it's just doing one cycle then it stops so we need to uh, left click onto a catch point and we got here the loop uh, control that you can uh, we're going to make it something like uh, you know search it up so it's uh, it's going to loop uh, more and uh, more than uh, than what we need for uh, for uh, our animation so we got it it's looping properly uh, okay we did it we can did it uh, the the previous group we don't need it anymore uh, let's put uh, a pointing into a cloner to see what happens and as you can see uh, it's cloning and it's uh, ready our animation perfectly uh, before uh, changing the value of the number of clones um, click uh, check the and re instant render box here so it will be much uh, much easier and you won't crash your uh, your uh, your cinema 4d okay let's make it on a grid uh, onto y axis only one. Uh, I'm going to have a, a huge amount of clones, uh, but 30 onto x and 30 onto z. Uh, for you, I'm going to, you know, crank the value up or oh, way more. Uh, maybe this, oh, more, more, more. 3000 here. Sweet thousand here okay so here it is we've got our army so everybody is working it's a uh, it's a nice army maybe I'm going to add a little more room onto the X and Z axis uh, is there. so what we need to do is to add some randomness uh, randomness because they are moving together that's not what we want to have randomness uh, into them size and randomness into them position to uh, have a more organic um, crowd so let's do this uh, first uh, let's uh, duplicate a bunch of time uh, all, the, all these guys so now we got uh, 10, about 10 clones 
of our, our panther. So, uh, first let's add some randomness into the movement. To do it so, you got this offset uh, value here, so we're going to uh, change this off offset value. So maybe by 20 frames for this one, maybe by 20 frames for this one. Uh, oh no, sorry, 20, uh, so make it 40. We're going by 20, 60. Okay, a little mistake that I made, but it's uh, interesting. We're, we're offsetting them in the wrong way. So what we had to do is add a minus to a value to. So everything will work. Will be work. Uh, will be working uh, together. So let's do this. This, this, okay, so what we got here? Okay, so they're not working, everybody, but, okay, so here, here I got it. So, uh, we're going to change the, the repartition of the clones by make it uh, more random. Okay, so as you can see, everybody, it's uh, quite random at this point. So what we need to do is to um, add some randomness into the position. So to do it, so we're going to have a mode, mode graph effector, and it's a random tag. So let's grab it. We don't need to move it uh, into, into Y. Okay, move it into X. Uh, it's not bad. I'm going to keep this default settings because uh, the the well it, it's working pretty good to me. Yeah. Um, let's add some randomness uh, into the scale, but uh, very subtle. So maybe point uh, one. Point one everywhere so you know so they're not uh, we had some randomness into the size of the characters okay so everything is good um, we need to uh, make them uh, walk so walk in a direction so to do it so we're going to add the MoGraph time effector uh, as you can see uh, it affects the rotation, but we don't need to to rotate this guy. This guy is we're going to add some uh, to. We need to move them along uh, a certain direction. So let's do it. Uh, Fifty. It's not okay. So <laughs> they're going backwards. That's not what we want to do. So. Let's do something like that. Okay, we have to check that it's the uh, right, uh, so right value. You know, as you can see, uh, look at the fit. The uh, sliding a little, so maybe we be better. Yeah, that's good. So they're not sliding anymore. Um, so I think we're done with it. Okay, everybody is walking. And there you go. 
So I use this ten t same techniques uh, for uh, this square animation uh, that I post into my uh, Instagram account. Uh, you can use it for uh, a crowd, uh, a crowd scene at a concert for uh, for any kind of crowd simulation. Um, and of course, you can throw in uh, many different clones of uh, many different characters, and you've got uh, something that is uh, more realistic. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, feel free to let me know what you think about that in the comment section. And uh, see you later. Bye-bye.